Hickok 45 here. You know, if I had a 10 millimeter, I think I'd shoot some of this stuff out here. In this target rich environment. Yeah. It's always target rich. <laughs> Never fails. There's even a target over there on the hill at 80 yards that needs to be wakened up. Uh oh. All right. Bear down. There we go. Let that be a lesson to you. You still have to aim, even if it's a large target. Guess what? I have a, oop, yeah, I have a magazine in my pocket, in my mag pouch. Let's just shoot something else. Uh-oh, knocked him down. <laughs> Let's try Mr. Gong again. All right. How about this paper over here? Uh, let's hit a two liter. Yeah. How about, oh, yeah. There we go. I think I'm shooting a little bit lower than I was thinking. That's right. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still getting used to my new sights. That's my excuse. This is chapter two. Been meaning to do this because I have made a modification. I might have shown you all this in the Sunday morning video, but I took those high sights off of it and oh man you know i don't even remember who makes these now uh i told you in the sunday video <laughs> but i put a re some replacement sites on it it wasn't a company i was familiar with i uh, one of y'all might have recommended them in a, uh, on a comment or something and uh i looked them up and i put them on here ordered them and put them on and i like it so much better now i like this firearm a lot better because uh you know it was just shooting low imagine that if your sights are are high uh, even if it's for a good reason, you know, for make it suppressor ready or uh, to co-witness with an optic you put on, all those those things. Uh, it's still, if you just go out and shoot it without any of that stuff, you know, you think about it, it's going to, if you level up your sights like you normally would on something, well, doesn't it make sense that it's going to shoot low for you? Think about that. What I do, because I have such a meager brain, is I like to exaggerate things. To understand them a little better so let's say the sights are not just a whatever quarter inch higher than normal or half inch what if you had sights that were up like that high on this pistol okay front sight and rear sight and you lined it up on that two liter you follow me now if you did that the gun would be down here and I would shoot about a foot below the two liter see so so that's the thing going on even though it's a little bit different not that extreme <laughs> So we have a visitor coming in to fix some plumbing for us. So we're gonna cut for a couple of minutes. I'll be back to see you soon though, okay? All right. It was actually an electrician. I misspoke, it's a plumber. You won't hold that against me for lying, will you? <laughs> anyway, he's gone and I'm ready to shoot a little bit more before I let you go. While you were gone, I don't know where y'all went, but uh, I reloaded a couple of these mags with some of the trophy bonded. So we'll wrap up. And also, I had a magazine full of the HST here. So we'll wrap up with some hotter stuff and uh, sling it out there. How's that? So good old 10 millimeters, fun to shoot. And uh, they do have a little power. Let's see, I'll put the other trophy bonded up here in the front. And I've got in the mag, trophy bonded. I'll put it in this do-all holster. All right. Yeah, you know, you would feel pretty well armed in the woods with a rig like this, 10 millimeter, uh, with some pretty hot rounds. And you, know, you could have a spare mag or two if you wanted, 15 rounds in a mag, you know, in this M&P or Glock 20 or some of the others. So quite a bit of power. That's one reason it's so popular. And uh, let's exercise some of that power, cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> I should have looked up that uh, company that I bought the sights from while, while we had the break, but I didn't. 
because I was just reminded what a great side picture. Y'all look at that side picture. I mean, it is hot, but man, it's a breath of fresh air <laughs> because I don't know, some things I've been shooting lately is just sort of have to find the sights, you know. I picked this up and I'm like, wow, that is nice, like a Christmas tree. Plus, that front side is fairly thin. I like that. All right, UT, let's pop that two liter. Well, that was dramatic. Let's try the other one. Helps if you hit it. Helps if you hit it. Let's try the uh, Buffalo. Like it's going low, maybe. Boom. Well, I'm at to figure out where to hold. Okay, same ammo. All right, Ram. Feels pretty good. Let's see if they're adequate for uh, the tree here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I still have a tendency to shoot low, I've decided. With these sights, if I'm not a little careful, it's not a problem uh, like the original sights, but yeah, I cannot take a six o'clock hold, apparently. Yeah, that's what I just did right there. Let's move it up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Y'all are learning with me. Plus, when you got hotter ammo, it uh, often prints a little bit lower. So now these are HST. side picture up about the middle of the plate to the upper quarter oh oh we haven't smoked pot yet no wonder I've been missing some yeah. <laughs> now I want to put the last couple of defensive rounds those were hollow points on the cowboy yeah because he deserves them yeah okay so anyway a little more fun with the Yemen P 2.0 10 millimeter and i don't think we've had a malfunction with it i can think of um uh, and you know fired a variety of ammo hollow points and hot ammo uh, some hard cast uh who was underwood some you know some various rounds like that uh the american eagle uh, this uh, trophy bonded stuff from federal just all kinds of uh, variety and it's, it's done fine so far I like these sites better, and I'm getting used to them, yeah. I, I still, you know, still got hold up a little bit. Uh, cannot take a six o'clock hold, but I, but it's not a problem, not a problem. More more like a Glock sight picture, you know, a lot of Glocks are kind of like right on. It's gonna hit pretty much right on where you, where you hold. So anyway, so far it's been a nice firing for me. Uh, if you have one, you know, what's been your experience with the m &P, you know, 2.0, 10 millimeter? Uh, I've shot it a fair amount, but not thousands of rounds, and uh, it's done fine so far. So we'll leave it at that, and I'll probably see you on another day. Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, just sticks right on there, you know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall, 
Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the Internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.